Jerome Powell renominated as Fed chair. What does that mean for the markets and the Santa Claus rally coming up? Yesterday, Jerome Powell was renominated as Fed chair by Joe Biden. Of course, he still has to clear the Senate, and there is some opposition to his reappointment in the Senate, particularly from somebody like Elizabeth Warren, who's upset about his deregulation of some of the restrictions on banking following the pandemic shutdown. But most likely, Jerome Powell will pass reconfirmation, be reappointed as Fed chair. Yesterday, markets liked that initially, with markets actually breaking out to all-time highs at the time of the announcement. And then they realized that that means that the Fed will be hiking rates next year. The Federal Reserve and Jerome Powell have already laid out a plan for tapering the balance sheet and hiking interest rates into 2022. Now, right now... Fed Fund futures are predicting about a 90% probability of three rate hikes next year. Now, as Michael Liebwitz recently analyzed in the article on our website at realinvestmentadvice.com, most of the time the markets underestimate exactly what the Fed will do. So if the markets are predicting three rate hikes next year with a 90% confidence level, it's likely we could see four or five rate hikes as well if we go back and look at history. What does that mean for the markets? Well, that's what the market kind of thought about after the renomination of Powell because he is leaning in that direction right now. In fact, several Fed members have come out just over the last couple of days talking about we may need to taper faster, have the taper finished by April. That would move up the timeline for the first interest rate hike to May or June, which is currently scheduled in July. So again, this is all kind of advancing that timeline of reducing monetary accommodation. Stocks didn't like that too much yesterday, but that's okay. We're in a very light Thanksgiving trading week right now. So a lot of this volatility in the markets really doesn't mean a whole lot. And right now markets are still maintaining above the 20 day moving average and and really kind of near all the all-time highs so not a lot to worry about here but what about the Santa Claus rally markets are already trading at highs so again at the current moment there's not a lot of upside in the markets and we should have a correction first as we've talked about on the show previously if you look at chart of seasonality it shows that during the first couple of weeks of December you typically get a bit of a correction in the markets now where could that correction take us to well a, a retest of the 50-day moving average is certainly a very good possibility but any type of corrective action within this range of course over the next couple of weeks would certainly set the market it's up for a bit of a rally into the end of the year. That would kind of correspond with this deeply oversold money flow sell signal as well. And putting kind of all these pieces together would suggest that we get a little bit of a correction here. That would allow you to put some more money to work heading into the end of the year when we get that traditional kind of window dressing after Christmas by mutual funds, hedge funds, etc. to get positioned for the beginning of next year. Also, the first week of January tends to be positive as the same mutual fund managers, et cetera, continue to put on bets for the new year as well. So again, looking at where the markets are currently trading right now, look for a bit of correction here over the next two weeks. That'll set the market up for a buy signal into the end of the year. Again, that's that traditional Santa Claus rally. Once we get past January of next year, all bets are off. We're going to be dealing with higher interest rates, less liquidity, and of course, higher inflation may still be a problem. And of course, as we kind of get further into next year, all of that fiscal stimulus that we had, monetary stimulus coming in from 2020 and 2021 will be fading from the system entirely. So things may get a bit rougher as we get into the later parts of next year. I'm Harold Lance Roberts for 3 Minutes on Markets and Money. See you next time.